While the Irish were on the West Coast to play Stanford, I was in Florida fulfilling my role as the voice of Irish men's basketball. So the Hall of Fame voice of Notre Dame football, Don Crickey, was nice enough to take over my chair for our weekly Inside Notre Dame Football conversation with Coach Kelly. Heartbreaking loss, but a phenomenal effort by the Fighting Irish. One of the greatest games Notre Dame has played in recent memory. I think we came down here expecting to win. Our guys were in, in a position to make a play. Um, we just didn't do it. And hats off to Stanford. But, you know, I think the, the real disappointment is we're, we're two plays away from being undefeated and uh, being number one in the country. So uh, we're proud of where this program is and, and uh, proud of our players. Is your overall evaluation of, let's start with the offense, there were some great moments. Well, we ran the ball effectively, obviously, Don. I think first and foremost, you go on the road uh, against a, a top 10 team, you better find a running game. And uh, I thought we ran the ball very, very well today. Our offensive line was dominating at times and uh, gave us the kind of balance that you need. You can't just go out and throw the football all over the place and expect to win a football game like this. So I, I think it started with our running game. You're showing me looking at the game for the first time. Josh Adams looked like the guy that's, he's, he's another fantastic player. Yeah, another true freshman stepping in for C.J. Procise, who, uh, you know, obviously had a high ankle sprain. And um, again, another kid, I just love the resiliency of this group that they, you know, had so many injuries this year, but didn't blink at all. They just, they just kept playing and just kept competing and, you know, found a way to, to, to come in and, and get another great performance from a, a first-year player. Just to evaluate some of the, the game of, of Kaiser, some of the things he did tonight that impressed you. The, the ability to run the football uh, really put, I think, Stanford in a tough position. When you have to defend the quarterback and the read option, and, and then his ability to push the ball down the field, I thought the last drive, I think, says more about him than anything else. Here's a guy on the road, you know, needing to put together that, that winning drive, and uh, I think we used up almost four and a half minutes on the last drive to keep the ball away from Stanford and to score a touchdown, and it, and it was all about Deshaun. He made a great throw on third down under duress to keep the drive alive, uh, ran the football, made really good decisions, and you know it was really about Deshaun stepping up big in that last drive. Defensively now, as you evaluate the team, it's almost like a new season coming up, the bowl game a month away, yeah. and you'll be in a good one. Uh, evaluate your defense. After the first couple of drives, I thought we settled in nicely in our front seven. And really, you know, first of all, Christian McCaffrey is a, a game wrecker. And I thought we controlled him. First of all, I thought our special teams was outstanding to get a kickoff return for a touchdown from, from a true freshman and C.J. Sanders. Uh, that gave us a huge lift. I thought our kickoffs were outstanding. Our, our coverage was great. And, and then to hold McCaffrey defensively uh, down the way we did in terms of running the football, uh, I was really proud of our defense you know obviously they threw the ball uh, better than we wanted them to throw it and and that's an area that obviously was a concern for us but it's hard to take everything away from Stanford well you've talked about the fabric of this team and how they're always together there's never any finger pointing they're really a joy to coach, and uh, you've got a lot of great players coming back. We do, and, and I told them after the game, I said, look, everybody's going to point to the last drive and our you know, defense not being able to make a play, but the fact of the matter is the game is not decided on the last drive. We had two or three opportunities offensively to turn field goals into touchdowns, or this game's not in the kind of position that it is. So, you know, there are a number of things that if it finishes differently, you know, we're, we're in there talking about the offense, defense, and special teams. It's never just one unit. Well, I know you've talked about the leadership of this team, how much it means to the overall effort. Uh, who are some of your great leaders that you look back on this season? Well, I think if you start on defense, you know, Sheldon Day has been outstanding for us. Um, you know, he competes and plays hard every snap for us. Uh, Two-time captain. Really proud of his development. Joe Schmidt's been outstanding. You know, I think if you look from from a defensive standpoint, Matthias Farley has been a great leader for us. And then on the offensive side of the ball, Nick Martin, 
Ronnie Stanley have been outstanding and Chris Brown. Those guys have been constant leaders for us all year. Well, I think your team certainly made their case for, for a major bowl game. It was a great year for Notre Dame football, heartbreaking as the ending was. Yeah, it was certainly, and I know our kids are disappointed. And, you know, there's never any um, you know, feelings in there that, 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 you know, losing is acceptable. But um, they know they played hard. Uh, they know they played right to the very end. And um, they want to play one more game together, and they want to go out on a winning note. So I know they're excited about uh, whatever happens. They want to play one more game together.